We, the undersigned civil society organization, urge the United Party for National Development, UPND government, to fulfill its promises on constitutional reforms as outlined in their 2021 party manifesto. The UPND pledged to prioritize governance reforms, particularly the much needed constitutional changes that Zambians have long awaited. Since assuming office, President Hakainda Hichilema and other UPND leaders, including Justice Minister Mulambo Haimbe, have repeatedly emphasized their commitment to these reforms. However, a recent statement by Information Minister Cornelius Mwetwa, suggesting a lack of appetite to undertake such reforms before the 2026 general elections, have added to the already existing uncertainty, especially around constitutional reforms. We call on the government to present a united and official position, as well as demonstrate genuine commitment to the promised reforms. The UPND manifesto clearly states, we will undertake a comprehensive review of the constitution to address lacunas and inconsistencies that have hampered effective governance. This commitment was a cornerstone of the party's appeal to voters who now expect action, not ambiguity. A good constitution is of paramount importance. It benefits both duty bearers and right holders. Unlike the current constitution, which was arguably recrafted in 2016 to benefit the incumbent political party ahead of other stakeholders, a people-driven constitution will ensure a balanced and fair governance framework. Such a constitution will promote accountability, transparency, and the protection of human rights, thus strengthening the foundation of our democracy. Constitutional reforms are crucial for enhancing checks and balances, ensuring judicial independence and safeguarding human rights. The inconsistencies in statements from UPND leadership undermine public confidence in the current government and delay governance improvements that Zambians have been longing for. We call on the government to clarify its official position. The UPND administration must provide a clear, consistent, and unified stance on the timeline and roadmap for the constitutional reforms. This will eliminate confusion and assure citizens of the governor's dedication to its manifesto and promises. Initiate immediate consultations. We are asking that government should begin comprehensive consultations with all relevant stakeholders, including, including legal experts, civil society representatives, and the general public, to lay the groundwork for the constitutional review, review process. Engage the public. Ensure that the consultation process is transparent and inclusive, allowing the broad public participation and input. This will help to build consensus and ensure that the reforms reflect the will of the Zambian people. Prioritize key issues. Focus on addressing critical areas such as electoral integrity, enhancing the separation of powers among the three wings of government, improving media freedoms, strengthening accountability mechanisms for public office holders, and the protection of human rights. These and other areas are vital for restoring public trust and, pro and promoting effective governance. Our organization starts ready to support the government in this endeavor through our work, such as, the, such as raising awareness of the reforms once they begin and providing civic education on the form and manner of the said reforms. We urge all stakeholders to work collaboratively towards a reformed and strengthened constitutional framework for Zambia. The time for dialogue and consultation is now. The Zambian people deserve nothing less. This statement is issued by the Alliance for Community Action on behalf of Center for Young Leaders in Africa, Christian Churches Monitoring Group, GEARS Initiative Zambia, Jesuit Center for Theological Reflection, Transparency International Zambia, and the Zambia Federation of Disability Organizations. Thank you.